In this video, I'll be talking about how to create image gallery with uh, zoom functionality, zoom in, zoom out basically like this. Suppose this is your image gallery and if you will click any one of the picture, so this is the picture and when you double tap on this, it will zoom. When you again double tap on this, it will zoom again and again double tap, it will come into its current position and there is also pinch in pinch out functionality available and there is also back option if you're new here then please subscribe to my channel and like the video without any delay let's get started so for that first of all we'll have to use a package which is photo view you can get it from pubspec yaml However, I will share the link of this package also. Here I have used a set image. You can use your image from API or your asset, whatever you want. So first of all, this is my, first of all, this is my main function. And on this, I'm calling image gallery list, which is this particular screen and here, First of all, I have created this array and this is the image that I am using inside a set. So I'm using this here also. This is app bar and after this inside body, I have taken a padding of 20 from all four sides. There is no need for bottom and if there will be more data, then I will add bottom padding also. You can also do that. And then I have used a grid, grid view builder basically. You can change the size of the tile from this child aspect ratio. Suppose if you will use here 0 0.5, then you will see the size of the tiles has increased. So you can change it according to your use. I'm using one by default and also cross axis account you can handle from here this is my portrait mode and i am using three here that is why there is three column as for as soon as when i will rotate it to landscape then it will turn to four columns so you can handle this from here cross axis account shrink wrap is true this is item count and this is the same array that i have defined here i will put the code in github and will share you the link inside the description box and then i have taken here just a detector and on tap i am navigating to next screen which is image slider so i will talk later and inside this grid view builder i am creating card this is basically the design that i am using here this is card this is the color this is elevation you can change it according to your use border radius and this is the image that i am using here inside clip art rect i am giving border radius to this also and i am using assets because my picture is inside this asset folder assets forward slash plus big img list this is the particular array that i have created here right here it is this is the index and I have used your fit box dot cover box fit dot cover. Okay. Now let's come into tap gesture. When I am tapping on this particular thing, any one of them, then what happens? It is going to navigate to image slider screen. So this is the image slider screen. Right. It is. So what it takes, there is already two parameters it will take and these two are required. So what we will have to pass, one is array, second one is current image. It is basically the current index because if I am tapping on this fifth one, then fifth image is showing initially. If I am tapping on the third one, then third image is showing here. That is why I am passing the current index here. So for that I'm passing here, this is my array and this is the current index. 
and now for this screen using this page controller creating here page controller and inside init state I am initializing this controller with the current image it means current index because when I am tapping on 3 it will show the third image that is why I am providing here the index of current image okay then after that I have used here stack because along with image I will have to use this back button or share button whatever you want to show some text over this image then you will have to use stack because of uh, that this is flutter and there is back button with android so there is no issue but with ios you will have to handle back from here that is why you will have to use stack and this back button then this particular photo view gallery is coming from this package photo view so you will have to import it as i have already told told you in the beginning of beginning of this tutorial then photo view gallery dot builder scroll physics bouncing scroll physics these are the not required properties but you can give it this is builder will have to put context index photo view gallery page options then and inside this image provider this is the image which I am getting from my previous screen. This is widget dot image list index. So this particular image list is coming from our previous page, which is image gallery list. And again, I am providing assets here because my image is coming from this asset. If your image is coming from API, then you can use your network image. And initial scale. Uh, as I told you uh, that when you are clicking on this particular thing then your picture is like this there is no zoom and if you want your picture to be appeared in a zoom mode then you will have to make calculations here li like this right now it is not zoomed so when I will change the calculation here like when I will do it is 0 0.8 right now I am making here 1.8 now let's run this once again okay and when I am clicking on this let's see it is already zoom okay so this is the thing so this is the thing which is handled from here zoom in zoom out so for now I am using 0 0.8 and this is item count and again I am using the image list that I am getting from the back screen page controller this is the same controller that I have created here in the beginning of this page this is on page changed whenever I am scrolling it is providing a number basically index like this is my image and when I am scrolling here like this it is printing 3 4 5 6 6 so it is providing you current index so and this is the design that I have used here I have given padding this is the gesture for this back button so you can handle it from here yes and i will put the link of this code on git and will provide you the link for that code in the description box and please subscribe to my channel and like the video hope to see you next time in our next video bye for now